Hello world, this is Oli. I'm here on me private island. I've just been served a nice bowl of fresh toilet water. It's very clean here, which is the way I like it. I'm receiving a sensual massage from my man. He follows me around massaging me all day. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to forage for some grubs. Last year I was on tour. Wait, what? That bastard's got his boat on my lawn again. Who said that? Am I talking to myself again? Oh, now I'm confused. I was just thinking something and I completely forgot what I came here for. Was I hungry? What the hell was that noise? Anyway, where was I? So, back to my story. I was on tour with Mick Jagger's Doberman Pinscher. And I told the roadie I wouldn't go on stage until he brought me 12 French poodles and some toilet water from the Ritz Carlton. Once you've had Ritz Carlton toilet water, you can't go back. What? I think I... Excuse me, I'll be back later. I like to scratch my nose with grass. It feels so good. Sometimes I just pretend to smell things. I lost my sense of smell when I was blowing lines of dried Alpo with John McCarthy's... Wait a minute. No, it was Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney's wanker of a pit bull. The guy can't hold his Alpo. It got... Who said that? Who's this guy in his boat? Marin Patrol? I don't know what's going on. Sometimes I just get confused and I want to wander around in circles. You see, my therapist tells me it's important to pretend to smell things because smell is such a cornerstone to dogs' personalities. Who the hell are those people on my lawn? Get that camera out of my face. Hey, wanker. Get that camera out of my face before I bite it. I've eaten less. One time... <laughs> I was on stage with Kiss, and they started feeding me bizarre objects, like thimbles and chairs. And some smarmy bastard brought his camcorder up, and I started to chew on it. Back to smelling. <coughs> now, you've caught me at an interesting moment. Wait a minute, what? What was I just going to do? Do my face, please. Thank you. This is where my man, my other man, Christopher, cleans my face. See, I spend a lot of time in the evening sniffing grass and eating out of garbage cans. And it's essential, since I haven't got my own thumbs, to have my face cleaned at least once a week. Now, oh, right there on the side, right there. Yes, yes, you've got it, you've got it. I do hate these VH1 specials. I never know what to say. Anyway, so, do the ear now. Yeah, inside, inside, left, left ear, left ear, yep, yep, now that's the right. You can't trust these, these South African ear cleaners. They just haven't got the skills of the Scottish ones. The inside, Reginald, inside, yes, there we go. Oh, sometimes I just fall asleep. You're beautiful, you know that? John Travolta uses the same ear cleaner. At least he did until recently. <laughs> Ear cleaner retired. What the hell is that noise? There's another bastard on my lawn, ringing by his boat. He's probably pushing some sort of shanty of a rig with some sort of wanker fly-by-night motor. Massage my temple, Reginald. The right, the right. No, no, right. Thank you. I don't really spend a lot of time thinking of international regulations, but at this point, I'm quite convinced that either all South Africans are dyslexic. What the hell is that noise? Uh, the kid's got his bloody bicycle again. You know, if that was my lawn, I'd just start peeing on him. That's what I do when people come on my property. Get the bruise of the nose right inside. Yeah, up, down. Can I get a clockwise circle, please? Clockwise. Reginald, you wanker, you're horrible at this, you know? 